All right, guys, this is not an unboxing. The live already unboxed it, but I just was gonna give you a quick rundown, let you see somewhat of what how the package came. And it was a cardboard, a uh, blue armory box. With this uh, nice bag here. And cleaning tools and a sticker. A nice little uh, menu a lot of stuff in it, all about the gun, how to put your optics plate on, all that good stuff. All right, that's that box, and I, and I love this uh, bag that it came with, and I've already had some stuff in here, but this is the bag you get. These nice uh, slots one, two, three, four, five, six uh, mag holder placement slots, and it did come with uh, two 15 round magazines. But I have already packaged my other stuff in here. I have my uh, 50 round KCI drum, 30 rounder, ETS. Seventeen rounders. The two mags that came with it are a little different. And this is the firearm here. All right. Now I've already dressed it up pretty much with the uh, the Holliton. And I'm keeping my uh, Crimson Trace uh, red dot laser light. I like that on there. So that's like two things. And I can uh, co witness with my sights. And also, so that kind of helps out. Just three little backups. Never know the situation, what it might require. So, yeah, but let's get to the magazine here. Rack it back. Safe, empty. Direction shoot. Put that back to the side. Now this is the uh, mag that came with it, and this is my factory mag. And the base plates are made with a little flare on the ones that came with the bull armory, which gives a cool little grip. So when you uh, put it into the mag, well, uh, you can kind of get a good purchase grip on it. And for people with big hands, I'm not sure how they may like it because this 15 rounder is like my hand is just the right size for it. So maybe that's probably why I like it a lot. I mean, it just fits perfectly in my hand with no complaints, it's just the right size. Any smaller and then I might be a little upset. But when you put the uh, different size, like the 17 round, it sticks out like that. But yeah, overall, so far, it's been a really great gun. And in this one bag, I keep <laughs> both my babies. You guys have already seen the platypus. So it's just trying to make an appearance. It's not loaded. There's nothing in there. So and get that out the picture. <laughs> Definitely becoming a fan of anything that take Glocks mags and that they run. You know, because I just, the Glock mags, is, like I said, there's just so many of them out there easy to get and I'm a guy that likes to go to the range a lot so being a range guy and having unlimited mags for super cheap prices you can't go wrong with that and that's the uh, compact size so they have a, a full size version also and uh, I paid six hundred twenty dollars for this and I'm definitely thinking about getting a, a four hundred dollar version Really the biggest difference uh, is that one doesn't have an optics uh, cut on the top. But I may uh, sell one of my Canics and go ahead and replace one of the Canics with the $400 version of this one. Just for the simple fact that it uh, takes Glock mags also. And it's a nice shooting gun. And I'll let you guys see the trigger pull on this here. It's a nice little take up there breaks nice and clean 
reset on it. Nice and small. Boom. Yeah, definitely a fan of the trigger. Curious to see how the uh, Glock 19 uh, slides and all the parts and stuff interchange with it. So I may just um, end up getting me a Glock 19 just to see how well it uh, functions. Like if I was to put the lower on the upper and the upper on the lower, you know, vice versa. I think that would be kind of fun to see. But uh, just first impressions of the gun, man, it's been really fun to shoot. Uh, the grip texture, for me, surprisingly, it's a little overkill. I mean, it is super grippy. You know, and then I like the uh, the rest on the side is flared out a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it is flared and it's on both sides. So lefty or righty, you can switch out, you know, and get that good thumb rest when you shoot either side. No manual safety on it. I know a lot of people don't like that and stuff. So I guess that's a good thing. Nice dovetail on the back where you're able to get a good grip up there on it. It's down really easy just like the Glock. Uh, probably easier I think but yeah slide comes right off no problem. These are the internals here. Yeah so really simple gun you know so far like Glock. I've been running reliable and I'll show you guys some video footage of me shooting a few uh, different mags at the range. First the one he came with, the laundry. Factory block. 17 round. and thoughts um, as of now the gun seems to be running pretty good don't have really much of complaints at this moment I kind of wish it was just a teeny bit longer maybe because I know uh, a lot of people may complain about it's too short the grip is and other than that I mean it's so far so good and I'll uh, probably do a follow-up video as I get more shots in and thank you guys for checking it out